Have you been uh, seeing this rather mysterious trend of dead bankers? You see, all over the world, bankers have theoretically been killing themselves for the past couple of weeks. One of them killed himself nine times with a nail gun, and it was ruled a suicide. My good friend, a former vice presidential candidate for the Libertarian Party, now good old-fashioned gop uh, a commentator, odds maker. I don't even know what to call you anymore, Wayne Allen Root, but you're always very welcome. How are you, my friend? I think my best title is national best-selling author with the Ultimate Obama Survival Guide. That's Na- what I like to be National called. best-selling author, um, entrepreneur... <coughs> Uh, evangelical capitalist. He goes on and on. Anyway, look, we've got this is really, really weird, Wayne. Uh, over the past couple of weeks, I mean, I played the Twilight Zone music almost for for a real reason. We've got uh, eight or nine dead bankers. Uh, some in in London, a uh, couple uh, uh, elsewhere. Uh, some here. A couple of them threw themselves off uh, buildings, and uh, and the uh, the the one the one that stands out a mile ruled a suicide was uh, the fifty seven year old founder of American Title Services uh, over in Colorado who apparently uh, shot himself nine times with a nail gun. Yes. Nine, well, actually, it was eight times. It was nine bankers. My apologies. And he shot himself eight times with a nail gun from head to toe. Now, folks, come on. <laughs> First of all, nobody, nobody in the whole world is mentally unstable enough to want to die that way. You, you drive your car off a bridge, you you, you close the garage door and die of carbon monoxide, you take some pills, or you might put a gun to your head. But nobody in their right mind shoots themselves eight times from head to toe with a nail gun. I'd rather shoot myself with a gun I don't even know that you could. I don't even know that you could do it, Wayne. Seriously. I mean, if you've I, I ever used one, it no, uses, first of all, the, you have to apply pressure. So once you've applied pressure seven times, no. you've inflicted excruciating pain all over your body. You're going to find enough strength for the kill shot. I, it's unbelievable that they ruled this a, a suicide. Yeah, and all these guys just, you know, taking a stroll off the roof of their high-rise building. You know, listen. We all know, or I think most people know, that the profession with the most suicides is dentistry. Do you know that? That dentists commit suicide more than any other profession? I did not. It it might be because you look in people's mouths all day. It might be because they have a look of fear and horror on their face when they see you. It might be because they just don't like you because everyone hates to go to the dentist. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, dentists get very depressed and they kill themselves. Never in history, to my knowledge, have I ever heard of nine dentists killing themselves in a bunch like that in like a three-week period. I've never heard of it. So to think that eight prominent bankers would all commit suicide in a span of, of uh, did I say eight? It's nine now because a new one just did it a couple of days ago. So the yeah, we, we just don't have a ruling on, on what he died of. Whether right, we don't it was, know who's yeah. suicide, correct. But yeah. we don't know the other eight are suicide either. They ruled them suicide, but how do you know they weren't pushed off the building? How do you know he wasn't being tortured with a nail gun by somebody else? Mm-hmm. That's more likely, in my opinion. So the question is not... You know, how weird is this? Because we know it's weird. How freaky is it? Uh, We know it's freaky. How creepy is it? We know it's creepy. I think the issue is, why is it happening? Something's wrong. And and the only thing I come up with, and by the way, the funniest part of my... Of my article, I, I realized the last one is named James Stewart. Yes. A banker named Jimmy Stewart killed himself, so that would not have been a good ending to a wonderful life, would the, it have been? W- when Jimmy Stewart kills himself, uh, the world is coming to an end. The world's coming to an end. So something's wrong. So my educated guess, and you're getting a sneak preview, because this article by me is not about the nine dead bankers. It's not even out yet. Uh, it'll be out in the next 24 hours, though, mm-hmm. at a major, major website, one of the busiest ones in the country. Oh, we can and, mention we can mention theblaze.com. Yeah, can. That's the okay. Blaze, correct. It's Glenn Beck's <laughs> website, The Blaze, about 18 million unique visitors. Yeah. And, uh, and I've got the number one story there today, by the way, about voter ID. Okay. About how Democrats are using voter ID to steal elections all over this country. ADD sure moment. That. Come on, Wayne. Back on, back on topic. Back on topic. Okay. <laughs> so why do I think they're doing it? I, I've come up with two conclusions. Conclusion yep. number one would be that, you know, we're about to experience an economic arm again. Maybe these people are committing suicide because they're the smartest guys in the room and they understand banking and money and they see that basically every bank in the world is bankrupt and that Wall Street's bankrupt and it's all operating on pure fraud at this point and that the country is about to experience a terrible, terrible greatest depression, not Great Depression, greatest depression 
of all time, and they, they see what's coming, and they're just depressed and they're killing themselves. That's choice one. I, I don't think that's the case, by the way. I think mm-hmm. choice two is more likely corruption and terrible uh, criminal activities being done by government and banks, and these guys caught wind of it and were maybe either knew about it or were threatening to talk to the media about it, and they wound up dead. And, and some of these guys, some of these guys could already have been talking to the likes of the FBI or Secret Service. Maybe, maybe, or threatening to, or maybe they just got got to them because they know they know too much. I don't know, you know, before they ever, you know, got the idea to speak to anybody. But I do know this much, and I don't think the article I sent you, the preview, was quite finished yet. I went back in and they added some finishing touches, mm-hmm. and the finishing touch I found out is that there's a Wall Street Journal reporter who covers banking and commodities, mm-hmm. who went, uh, who left his house in early January and never came back and has never been seen again. And he may have been investigating this very story, and he's gone. Okay, he had liver disease, by the way. He left his house without his liver medication, so he had to be back that night. That was on January 11th, and he's never been seen again. And this is a Wall Street Journal reporter, not some you know local guy. This is the real thing. And what's his so, name? Uh, I've got it here. Hold on one second. got to grab it. No for problem. You. Yeah, well, yeah. his name's I important. i got to find it in the article. So no problem. His uh, name's very important. I don't know. It's somewhere. It's a big article. <laughs> I don't know where it is. <laughs> All right, David okay. Bird. Here it is. David Wall Bird. Wall Street Journal reporter named David Bird. B-A-R- B-I-R-D, like a bird okay. that flies. Covers banking and commodities markets. All right. Left his home on January 11th. Never returned. Ever. No one's ever seen him. No one's gotten a hint what happened to him. He's just gone. Okay, so, so why why is this? I mean, this is this story is being covered, but it's being covered non-mainstream. not not by mainstream and not right. as a not as a kind of uh, a, an entire story. It's you know like the Journal Star uh, from uh, Lincoln, Mag- M- Nebraska, is talking about uh, the guy who uh, the James last Stewart. guy who James Jimmy Stewart, Stewart yeah. who's just died, but we don't know what he's dead of yet. Um, right. They're talking about him, but they're not they're not connecting the dots to the fact that this is the ninth banker in just a few weeks who's now dead. Right, and now it's nine in a few weeks, but how about this one? I can give you a list of five prominent bankers. Or, you know, These are bankers a general term. People who run banks and also people who are at Wall Street investment uh, houses. Mm-hmm. So it's a combination of those two. And do you know five more died last year under circumstances that were either mysterious or termed as suicide? So if you count from July of last year till now, 15, uh, 9 to 5, 14 bankers have killed themselves. Or, or, you know, one of them, James Stewart, is still undetermined. So say 13 bankers have killed themselves uh, or died under very mysterious circumstances called suicide, and then one more is pending. So you're talking about 14 banker deaths, all prominent guys. Listen, Simon, something's wrong. This is a strange story. Well, exactly. I, I think that's that's the key, isn't it? Something is seriously wrong. Uh, and now you've got a journalist uh, from the Wall Street Journal missing as well, apparently. Uh, something is very seriously wrong, and almost nobody is talking about it. Uh, so I'm very pleased that we're talking about it, because uh, uh, we, we're going to continue to talk about it and try and figure out what the heck this is all about. Now, we did bring you on for uh, two reasons today, uh, Wayne. So uh, we're going to take a quick time out to do some traffic and weather. And when we come back from that, we're going to talk about uh, the Ukraine and Venezuela and what might happen next. Uh, We're talking to Wayne Allen Root. Uh, We've already talked about the uh, mysterious missing and dead bankers and uh, financial journalists. Next up is going to be the Ukraine.